BBC Universal's may attacked SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford over the SNP's planned tax hikes to Prime Minister spoke out as she was again challenged by the SNP's Westminster leader Ian Blackford to step in to help halt Royal Bank of Scotland branch closures. The clashes came less than a week after Finance Secretary Derek Mackay revealed that Scots earning more than £33,000 will see the pay. Packets cut, while those on over £26,000 a year will pay more income tax than their counterparts south of the border. He claimed the move, which will hit one in three Scots, is needed to provide vital funding, raising £164 million. Hitting back at Mr Blackford in the Commons, Mrs May said, I have to say to him that's a bit rich coming from an SNP which in government in Scotland is going to increase taxes for 1.2 million Scots. BBC Scottish citizens earning more than £33,000 will see the pay packets cut due to increased taxation as only one clear message to people in Scotland Conservatives back you, SNP tax you Theresa May, the Conservative government is reducing tax for 2.4 million Scots. There's only one clear message to people in Scotland Conservatives back you, SNP tax you, Scottish Conservatives have argued Mr Mackay should concentrate on £209 million in efficiency savings, instead of taxpayers being forced to bear the burden. Conservative MP for Stirling Stephen Kerr asked Mrs May if she shared his dismay at the SNP's decision to increase taxes for hard-working Scots when there are other options for saving money. Mrs May agreed with Mr Kerr, adding, if the SNP government got their own house in order, they could save the same amount of money that they will be by raising taxes, and not put that extra tax burden on people earning over £26,000. Meanwhile, Neil Amner of the Scottish Chambers of Commerce told Holyrood's Finance Committee the tax plan creates the impression, at this stage only an impression, that Scotland is the highest taxed part of the UK, he said the different tax rates could be a barrier to attracting and retaining business and the organisation is concerned that this could get worse through time. Mr Amner said the changes would lead to hidden costs for businesses, reinforce our skill shortage and lead to a perception that it's more difficult, more expensive to do business in Scotland. Earlier Mr Mackay acknowledged councils face tough choices in the wake of the local government budget settlement. Tuesday, July 4, 2017 Queen Elizabeth II greets Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon at an audience at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. Mr Mackay insisted he had delivered a good deal for town halls in his 201,819 draft budget, but admitted they faced having to make savings. The Independent Scottish Parliament Information Centre Spice has warned that councils face a real-term funding cut of £157.3 million next year. He told Holyrood's local government committee that this figure did not reflect partnership priorities, such as teachers' pay, investment in social care and the expansion of early learning and childcare. Mr Mackay added, will it require tough choices? Of course it will, we've had tough choices to make in government as well, but essentially I think it's a good deal for local government.